Hello and welcome to Africa Social TV. My name is Dennis the Business. Now, away from Africa and straight up to the UK or call it the Great Britain. Now, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's royal wedding. Of course, everything that you need to know. Now, going forward, it's signed, sealed and stamped. These two are now an item. Now, what the things or oh, what are the things that you need to know about this royal wedding that is trending and it will continue trending for the rest of the year now prince harry and american actress megan marco officially became husband and wife may 19th the wedding came after the couple announced their engagement in november now when was the wedding could be a question prince harry formerly known as prince henry charles albert david of wells married marco on may 19th in an our long ceremony that started about 7 a.m. EDT or call it non local time. The date was a Saturday, unusual as most British royal weddings take place on a weekday. Mm -hmm. Where was the wedding? Could be a question. The wedding took place at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Now, the Dean of Windsor conducted the service, and the Archbishop of Canterbury will confiscate or officiate the couple as they made their vows. That was at the Kensington Palace that was announced on February 12. Now, the Most Reverend Michael Bruce Curry, the 27th presiding bishop and premier of the Episcopal Church, was chosen to give the address. That was still at the Kensington Palace that was confirmed May 12. The wedding venue held a central location in the history of the royal family. Winter Castle, west of London, is one of the Queen uh, Elizabeth II's main residences, so that makes it very special. Now, the 15th century chapel is a historic but more intimate than the Westminster Abbey, where Prince William married Kate Middleton in 2011. The Queen also very involved in the College of St. George, according to the media. The other question could be when the engagement was announced, what happened? Now, the palace said the wedding would reflect the couple's characters and personalities and be a moment of fun and joy. Now, after the ceremony, the royal couple undertook a carriage procession from St. George's Chapel through Windsor Town and then returned to Windsor Castle. I quote, They hope this short journey would, oh, provided an opportunity for more people to come together around Windsor and enjoy the atmosphere of this special day. Mm -hmm. Kensington Palace revealed on May 2nd that the Ascot Lando carriage would be used, and yes, it was used. The carriage is one of the five Ascot Landers in the Royal Muse, the palace said. Now, the carriages are used as official and ceremonial state events, such as coronations, royal weddings, and state visits. Wedding guests were slated to meet the pair for the reception at the St. George's Hall. Going forward, Harry's father, Prince Charles, held a private reception later that evening for the newlyweds with close friends and family friends in attendance at an undisclosed location. Oh, how secret. Now, Prince Harry, who is 33, and Marco, who is 36. So that makes Marco about three, four years older than Harry. Hmm, hugely grateful for the many good wishes they have to receive since announcing their engagement. The palace said, February 12th. Yes, they were very much looking forward to the day and to being able to share their celebrations with the public. The other question is, what about other aspects of the wedding? Now, Claire Peter of the Violin Cakes created the couple's wedding cake. Still, uh, Kensington Palace has revealed this. Now, Prince Harry and Miss Marco asked Claire to create a lemon elderflower cake that will incorporate the bright flowers of spring. The palace tweeted that was March 20th. It will be covered, oh, it was covered with buttercream and decorated with fresh flowers. Now, the chef focused on using seasonal and organic ingredients in a cakes. Now, Miss Maku previously interviewed Chef Tech for her former lifestyle website, the TIG. Let's go to the floral designer, Flipper Craddock who joined the team of the florists from St. James Chapel and Buckingham Palace to create the displays for the royal wedding. The other question could be, what needed to happen before the wedding? Just a question. As you may know, people have to talk about something that is equally big or 
they get emotional over certain things like this their question is what needed to happen before the wedding queen elizabeth ii needed to give a formal concert before the happy couple who have already taken their engagement to talk, uh, photos uh, obviously uh, as it's done uh, in great britain now on march 14th during a privy council meeting the queen did just that but still people complained yeah social media has it now uh prince charles and the duchess of cornwall camina Marco Bowles attended the baptism of representatives of the crown. Afterward, Marco was reportedly confirmed into the Anglican faith, allowing her to join her soon-to-be husband at Holy Communion. The other question is, what should you know about the invitations or the guest list? You could be wondering, the wedding had a few guests. Oh, to you, they did have many. Hit the commentary section right there and do your comments right away and do a thumbs up for me on Africa Social TV as you click subscribe. Now, still, what should you know about the invitations and the guest list? Now, the wedding invitations were mailed in March. 600 people were invited to the service and another 200 close friends received an invitation to an after party at the Frong Moharis Kensington Palace announced that on March 22nd if you've been following. Now the invitations were created by Bernard and Westwood, a printing company that has worked with the royal family since 1985. They featured letters in the blank ink with the Prince Charles's three feathered badge printed in gold on top. The invitations were banished, gilded on the edges and completed with gold border. Now, Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, and other royals attended the wedding. You can get that more right here on Africa Social TV. Now, the Royal Mail sold royal wedding stamps ahead of the couple's big day, while the Royal Mint sold royal wedding coins. Now, what about the wedding gifts? The pair announced on April 9th that they will be accepting donations to seven charities they support as wedding gifts for the upcoming royal nuptials. Now, Prince Harry and Miss Meghan Markle are incredibly grateful for the goodwill they have received since their engagement and have also asked that everyone who might wish to mark the occasion of their wedding considers giving to charity instead of sending a gift. Wow that is sweet what else do you need to know about marco's engagement ring <laughs> now prince harry designed a custom engagement ring to to give uh his fiance and it included some special or oh, it includes some special sentiments now the center stone is from botswana where the two visited in august but the two stones that flank the center jewelry honor prince harry's mother as they're from princess diana's collection the ring was made by court jewelers clave and company according to the town and country magazine ladies and gentlemen that's all you need to know about the royal wedding that just included that is prince harry and megan marco my name is dennis the business click subscribe